Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're about ready to start the portrait open category. We have all our judges seated and ready. We have all our print handlers eager to go. We have a fantastic sponsor in KL. What more could we ask for? And a wonderful audience out there in live streaming. So we are about to start the judging and we will have our first print, please. And the print and the printer scored seventy six. And who's on seventy six? Um, Shireen or Peter? Age before beauty. <laughs> Have you got that right? Yeah. Uh, I feel to make it a little less assigned in the portraiture, it needs to be less scientifically displayed, and I feel it's more a how to. Uh, apply makeup or hair, etc., rather than getting into what this person is about and what they, who they are. Okay, thank you. Let's go to the next print, please. And we have a score of 84, a silver award. <laughs> and two of the judges in the silver distinction range. That's great. And Shireen, you're on 84. Yeah, I'd love to give a comment. I, I, um, the thing that held me back, because I actually would have, I felt I would have loved to have gone into a gold range on this because I love this image so much. Um, but it was the actual uh, connection of the mother with the daughter just if she'd actually been looking at her more or if her hands were actually holding her gently rather than I felt the uh, uh, the hand under the neck just cut off the daughter too much I, I, that was what held me back but otherwise a beautiful image great thank you okay we accept that score and we'll go to the next print please And while the judges are contemplating this print, I'll just remind you that this is the um, AIPP Australian Professional Photography Awards. It's proudly sponsored this, the portrait category by KL. They've been a great supporter of the AIPP, so let's get out there and support them as well. And while we're on the subject, I would also like to thank and acknowledge Olympus, Aon and Panasonic as platinum sponsors of the AIPP. Your support for this event is, is very much appreciated. So thank you to our platinum sponsors. we have a score of 84, a silver award. 
Vicky, you're on 84. A comment, please. Oh, magnetic, captivating, just beautiful craftsmanship. My only suggestion is probably, you know, the re maybe relaxing the shoulder. I, I found the posing a little bit um, uncomfortable. Mm. Yeah, good comment. Thank you very much for that. Let's have the next print, please. And we have a score of 77. And we'll call Mr. Pool on 77. My, my difficulty was I didn't believe the photographer had brought any craft to this photograph. I, I don't think it's lit. I think it's just a camera in front of an old man looking across a, a, a teacup. And I would dearly have loved the photographer to have injected themselves into what is a quite a pleasant shot, but uh, mm. professional practice. Yeah, that door frame through the head, maybe using the, the doorway as, a, as another internal frame. Great, thank you. Let's have the next print. Okay, we have a score of 87, silver with distinction. Let's have a round of applause. <laughs> we have a challenge from Mr. Poole on 96, the gold distinction range. So let's have a discussion. I, I, I hate the concept of judges describing a photograph, but I have to for the audience because I, I believe that the nude body has the words or the names of all of the skeletons or the skeletal remains that surround her. In other words, there's writing all over her body, which for me anyway, signifies the animals that are involved in the pattern. Why she's nude and why she's lying there, no, I cannot explain to you. I have no possible way of explaining. But I'm enjoying the symmetry, I'm en enjoying the design, I'm enjoying the construction, I'm enjoying the angle, I'm enjoying uh, all of the elements that the photographer has so carefully craft together. I don't believe there are any accidents here. This is driven by the photographer. It's, it's, it's not an accidental snap by any stretch of the imagination. So uh, when I see hard work by a photographer, I desperately want to reward it. I, I love the placement, the, the big, the big um, uh, skelet skeletal heads at the top, the smaller objects down the bottom. The, the writing uh, it seems to indicate dingoes and rats and things like that. Uh, I, 
I'm, I'm at a loss to explain the photo and that in itself excites me because of the questions it asks of me. Gold, with distinction. Thank you, Ian. Now, I was going to call on Shireen and then possibly Peter, but Peter, you're already sitting. Would you like to make a comment? Yeah, I was just asking for a little, uh, or looking for a little clearer direction from the uh, photographer. Uh, I love the design. Uh, as it, it's definitely growing on me. I've been up twice now to also, not only has it got the scientific name of the species that the skeleton is from, but it is, uh, it, she's collect I feel that she's collected those. Now they're either gifts, so many of them, it's a gift from somebody to somebody. Uh, it's a penguin skull found on the beach on a romantic walk and all of a sudden, uh, it. B but I did have to go up a couple of times so th there's a strength in that and my 82 will rise. Should I have said that? No, that's sure, fine. Sure, I should have. <laughs> Uh, so it, it has explained itself, but it did take me a while and I actually enjoyed the journey of taking it from mystified to I, I feel I understand it well enough for me. Mm -hmm. Great, yeah, thank you, clarified. Peter. Well, we have two judges on 88, so we may go to Shireen if you want to comment. You're on the lower scores. Yeah, I think that was the... Um, the there was a couple of issues for me. It was the story and really genuinely trying to understand it. I, I could tell that there was a story obviously going on, um, but I think I'd, I really love that you can, if somebody can try and explain a little bit more to me, I think that's, that's great. Right. Well, and, sorry, uh, it was the laying down of the woman. The, the issue that I had was probably the, the angle of the camera bothered me a little bit. I would have loved it. It felt like it wasn't completely overhead. It felt like it was just slightly off from the side. I, I think that bothered me. I'm really happy to listen to go up. Okay, if our judges on 88 don't have anything to add to it, I'll go back to Ian. Thank you, judges. Ian, your right of reply. The story is that you invent your own. Peter's come up with one that I had possibly never, ever imagined. Uh, that makes it legitimate for Peter. Uh, the, the, the abstraction of, of what's been done there, even to the discreet hiding of the... the uh, pubic area with a very that's probably the rat's head I'm not certain uh, but but that's been very discreetly done no no it's it's all about impact uh, and whether it's it's mathematically over the top of the model I don't care uh, what I do enjoy is the abstraction of the the skulls and I can read every one of them I wish I had enough knowledge to interpret and name them I can't do that but there are others who could and so it, it's it's just the total work by the photographer to put this together I'm on 96 very very comfortable waiting there for you to join me okay let's have a rescore judges Okay, we have a score. You know what it is, 92, gold award. <laughs> Very well debated, fantastic. Could the author come to me later and give me the full story? <laughs> Whoever that is, okay. Okay, judges, eyes forward, focused, and the next print, please.
And we have a score of 83, a silver award. <laughs> All the judges in the 80s range, fantastic. Let's have a comment. Maybe Vicky, you're on 82. I mean, the image impact speaks volumes in regards to, you know, obviously being about smoking and the decay and sometimes that acidic tone of the skin just suits the matter or the subject, the narrative perfectly. Great, okay. If no one else wants to comment, we're going to go to a blank screen. I'll just check. Okay, thank you. Blank screen, please. Ladies and gentlemen, judges, there is now the morning tea break. Okay, so, so we will be reconvening. We will be turning the first print at 11.15. So I'd really like you back here by 11.05. 11.05 at the latest gives us 10 minutes just to reorganise. For those of you out there in the live streaming land, this could be your opportunity to go and do a few things and join, rejoin us at 11.15. Thank you. <laughs>